Hi guys, welcome to another episode of No Time to Explain Remastered Speedrunning Guides. Uh, in this episode we'll take a look at the alien ship world and how to get through that fast. Um, so uh, right off the bat we have uh, level 1. Usually I try to land here just to have a better setup for, uh, for the rest of the level. Um, it's very hard to do this part here and land on on this um and it, it's usually not worth it like you, you can you can sometimes do it but it, it, it's usually really hard uh so what i normally do is go something like that just to have a little bit of an easier setup into the portal uh here you can use the launcher but it's very risky and usually not worth it so just go straight down here and into the portal, not too big of a hassle. Uh, on this one, it is very tempting to use the laser from the beginning of the level and uh, try to land on the launcher, but I usually just walk to it and uh, like land on it. That's, I'm, I'm gonna show what I usually do, uh, but land on it and then shoot just like a few shots down. Uh, if in like just just to get over the, uh, the wall up here, oh, that was not quite enough. Um, but something like like this here. Ideally, you fly it straight into the portal. Doesn't always happen. Um, but yeah, just walk and do something like that. It takes a little while to to learn how long you have to to press uh, for the laser to not hit the spikes at the top. But it's just a feeling thing. Uh, for this one, you want to as soon as you hit the launch pad, do a shot downwards or like upwards so you shoot yourself downwards um to avoid the spikes up here because if you don't you hit the spikes and then quickly swing back down to float all the way into the uh to the finish so something like that uh to avoid the spikes and then quickly swing down oh that was uh well, not quite enough obviously at a di diagonal to uh go into the goal faster um this one's not a bit too big of a deal. You can just float in and, and do that. Uh, but what I like to do is actually shoot so you go faster through the laser beam. Uh, for this one, we do the same as the, not the previous, but the one before, where we shoot a quick shot down so we avoid the spikes. Otherwise, we do like that. So, quick shot down. You can uh, shoot down and land here and then go back up. Uh, but what I like to do is uh, like that, and then go quickly up here, and then just barely land here, jump the way, jump up here instead of using this uh, launch pad too slow and risky. Go up here, do a few quick shots to the side, and uh, go into the portal. Um, here's just straight into uh, to these. Hopefully. You can uh, hit this into this one. It's sometimes you miss. I'm not 100% sure why, <laughs> um, or what the uh, the best course of action is. I think you want to try and hit the launch pad low, and then it will launch you into it. When you get over to the other side, obviously just shoot downwards or shoot yourself downwards, so you go through the traction beam. Uh, for this one, there are plenty of different strategies. You can just do the uh, oh, not that uh, the slow way where you go from side to side every time. Something like this here, and that's perfectly viable. Uh, although I like to skip a few of them if possible with the laser. So, oh, not like that. That's not what I normally do. Um. Hit this one, and then skip the next two, and then skip straight into the portal like that. Um, yeah, you can uh, rewind that a few times to, to know which pattern to take. Uh, this one is a little bit more tricky, actually. Uh, because these backwards, or these uh, launch pad can, pad can be very annoying to, to get through. Um, actually, let's just do do like that. 
they can be very annoying to 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 hit the the correct spot and it's a lot about feeling and and getting to know the level uh, and just take some practice uh there's not much to say about it i don't think uh the only thing i ha can say i think is uh when you get down to to the low one here you want to uh hit the on the left side rather than on the the right side because if you hit on the right side you very quickly go over to to this side and can can easily die and uh, usually that would spawn you all the way at the top of the level like up here because there's no uh no ground where you actually reset yourself so if you oh, <laughs> bad example um So yeah, something like this. Oh no, look at that. We're all the way up here again. Uh, so try and, and avoid that by, by going more left than right. And, and then just into the portal like that. Uh, for this one, we have another one of those, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Spawn jumps that you can do. Where you, as soon as the level loads in, or as soon as you load in, you can fire your laser at the diagonal. And hopefully make it to the um, room turner. You can jump all the way to the portal. It's just me being a little bit bad there. Uh, for this one, there is... Uh, I don't think you can actually go all the way into the portal like this. Now, uh, would have been cool. Oh, that's very close, actually. But uh, what I normally do, spawn in here, go up, and just start aiming uh, start aiming the laser or left. Never, like, completely 90 degrees. You still want a little bit of lift to get into the portal. Um, yeah. Uh, this one, you have two options. You can do the normal way of, uh, of, of using the, the lasers. Very slow, and you risk... Do not, don't wanna wanna do that. Uh, and the second half of the level is faster the other way. Uh, so quick shot to the uh, to jump to the left and uh, something like that. And then you use this slope to gain uh, extra height. Try and uh, press a few taps right to avoid the uh, traction beam entrance point. And just go over here. Remember to get in between the in between the two um, traction beams, so you can actually fall all the way down. They they want to attract you back up, uh, so to speak. And so we have the uh, boss here um, of of the uh, alien ship. Um, this is the first real randomness part of the run RNG because you have some fallen falling debris where you ideally want them to be oops uh you ideally want the debris to fall around this area or this area here um so you can stand on it and have a fairly clear shot at the uh, at the orb or the sun uh, above you, and when it is when it falls down, uh, you don't have to move out of the way. Uh, you want to be able to finish uh, finish the boss in, in two cycles, like two slam downs. Uh, if you don't, it costs like a lot of time, fifteen seconds or something. Uh, and it's, it's usually a, a run reset if you get up uh if you if you start getting good at this game um and and it's just completely random where the debris fall uh and which type of debris falls as as can can actually also affect uh what you do um so yeah if we try to to show how to do it the first part here you just stand underneath it and uh, now is when we hope for the good debris. That is actually perfect. And I'll just stand here. Remember to tap uh, the other direction a few times. I'm, you can see I, I'm tapping uh, left. That was very unfortunate. It de destroyed our good debris. We've got some okay over here on the left. Where we can just stand. 
the real hard part about this level or this boss is the uh, what do you call it? Def deflectors, the, ma the, the 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 circles, the plus signs uh, that deflect your beam and can uh, can really mess up what you want to do. Um, let's try one more uh, one more go here. But yeah, the further out to the side you are, the more they are going to affect you. Um, here I'm, I'm waiting a bit until I get some good debris so I can uh, get perfect damage the entire time. Uh, I really cannot understate how, or I can't overstate how much of an importance it is to, to do this in two cycles. And waiting a few seconds for some good debris is actually worth it. Um, that was a perfect fight. Couldn't have uh, asked for more there, other than getting perfect debris in the beginning, but but only waiting like one more. Uh, what do you call it? Attack cycle, debris falling uh, is totally worth it. And we even had some options over on the right here uh, if if something had uh, disrupted us. Um, it is quite important as well when you are standing on the debris and uh, shooting uh, shooting the sun that if any debris tries to fall on top of you like falls down here you want to shoot that as soon as possible um, it is definitely important if you have already removed the uh, hexagon shield from the sun and a quick flick of the wrist can often do it this was a worst case scenario, you really don't want that to happen, because now you can see we need another cycle uh, to actually defeat it. Um, yeah, uh, so once you have defeated the boss, um, like as soon as it turns from this bright orange to a dark matte... Oh, I actually wanted that. Um, okay, that's perfect. As soon as it turns from this glowing orb into its, uh, yeah, uh, matte version, you press escape and uh, select level to uh, exit out of the level. Oh, I was standing too close. <laughs> I am really good at uh, explaining this level, I guess. Should have stood way further out here. So yeah, there, click select level, and uh, and then you go into the next level, which is the future dino robot level. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next video of uh, this No Time to Explain Remastered guide.